Hey guys, what's going on? I wanted to make a quick short little video about our new fuel injector cleaner and tester that we bought. So here's what it is. It is the All Tool what 1150 or sorry, CT150. And this is basically they call it their four cylinder version. They have six and eights, so that way you can run all six all eight injectors at once. But that's, they were getting really expensive and I can just do it twice basically it's a pretty sweet tool i'll let you read these right here it's got all these different functions for it the ultrasonic cleaning all the different tests all kinds of value tests and all kinds of sweet things that it does it's pretty simple setup was not bad at all i did read the instructions actually for once and it was pretty simple comes with all these connectors right here so that way you can plug into virtually any fuel injectors and right now i have klaus's fuel injectors in there right now i just got four hooked up because this is ultrasonic cleaning and it kind of like purges them as it sits in my little solution that i made and cleans them real really well so what we do is we just turn it on right here it's on so yeah you're just going to start with ultrasonic cleaning hit start it's set for 10 minutes you can hear it making that buzzing noise and that buzzing noise is the ultrasonic and that little click is just them firing for a second to get it all out hey we got 10 scale here <laughs> so, yeah it's getting oh spaghetti's gonna be so good tonight i can't oh, wait yeah so that's that cleaning right now. We're gonna mess around and close for a little bit while the second set's cleaning and I will show you guys the different testing features that it does. Right, now that the injectors have been cleaned and it actually did a pretty good job because that solution was pretty clear and now it's not pretty clear. It's yeah, got a it nice- It just looked like a regular, like a gasoline little tingy, yeah. just very light yellow well so yeah i definitely had to clean them because ever since klaus blew up it's been straight e85 and it's just been sitting in the car and sitting yeah, and it's not good on yeah all. yeah when i pulled off the fuel rail over there fuel actually came out of it so it's just been sitting but they are clean now so we'll show you how this works like we'll do the idling test to show you that's here this changes my pressure i try to keep it around 45 because that's what i run normally Pumping it up. And there we go. That's these are the FIC 1300, so that's what it actually looks like during idle. And it's pretty sweet. It actually sounds like a car too. I <laughs> don't stop we see it looks pretty well then there is a medium speed test so i guess probably light throttle doing good high speed test is crazy sounding Yeah, fuel pressure dropped down to 20. Yeah, this pump in here, that's why I only have two of them. The pump still can't even keep up with just two of them. What was it at? Oh, yeah, it's still too low. Ah, gonna break it all. There we go. Pretty cool. Then we can go to acceleration test. <laughs> I don't know why I like it. I do even like it so much. And then the last test we do is just the speed value test. And that will just check that they're flowing just about the same. A few milliliters difference is okay with me, but you don't want something too crazy. So we'll just go to the high speed one. 
and go. Right there, 10 seconds. Yeah, the side always gets more foamy. We'll see, because this is two of the injectors, and I got six more to go. But they're all cleaned and ready. Yeah, that right side might be a little bit more, but it's not huge. I think, I forgot to find the paper. I think it's five to 10%. Maybe, or one to that two. really could just be what was left with the foam still on the bottom of yeah. it, too, not completely clearing out. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's pretty sweet. All right, guys, we're going to end it off there. That was a nice short little video just to show you how our new All Tool CT150 works. If anyone needs injectors clean, you can mail them in to us, or you can just stop by, drop them off at the house. But that's all. We'll see you guys later.